Bullfrog here. Uh, it is uh, mid-June on the farm. And this wasn't what I was originally going to show you. This is a snake video, but I just looked over and saw this guy. This is a scarlet king snake. I have never seen one of these in the wild. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it beautiful? Looks like a coral snake, but a coral snake has a black head. This snake has not a black head. You know the old rhyme, you know, about red and black, venom black, red and yellow kill a fellow, and people debate whether that's accurate, but just know their head and you can recognize them by the color and shape of their head. What a beautiful snake. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. But that's not what I want to show you. And, and, and by the way, this snake is nothing but good. It will get a total pass from me. It shall not be harmed by me. This snake, on the other hand, is a white oak snake. It's as long as I am. And this is another white oak snake that is not quite as long as I am. Leave him on safe. This one has got a full belly. See that? You know where this snake was at? That's a mama azeal hen with her babies. Here's some more hens with their babies. Here's some babies up here, some older babies that are old enough to be on their own. Both these snakes were right up here. So, major threat to my flock. And we're gonna do an autopsy on this snake and see what's in here. Now this feels like eggs. I'll be upset if there's any biddies in here. Let's cut it open and find out. I'm not gonna show myself cutting it open, but uh, let's see what's in here. Autopsy done. Three cracker eggs. <laughs> that's not a real egg, that's a ceramic egg. It ate a ceramic egg and uh, these three real eggs. You know, I sell these eggs for $80 a dozen. So you can do the math and figure out what that just cost me. Um, that's his reflexes, the snake's dead, trust me. Both of them are dead. But look, I don't hate snakes, but this is my livestock. You know, I pay for my chickens with the money I make selling these eggs. And if we were living in an economic downturn where we had to had to actually live off these eggs, um, this would be serious. And thankfully, none of these snakes got any of my young game chickens here growing up. I didn't get any of these chicks, but I can't have it. Cannot have it. So, no apologies from me. Snakes got what they deserved as far as I'm concerned. Oh, and let me show you how I killed them. <laughs> Best snake dispatcher in the world right here if it's a non-venomous snake. Quick little lop behind the head. Kills them instantly. They'll still have nerves going like what's happening right there, but they're dead, trust me. Their, their heads are just barely hanging there. Gentlemen, here's why you kill rat snakes. They get in your chicken coop. It ain't just for the sake of the eggs. So we just done an autopsy on this rat snake. Had these two chicks inside of it here. This is the fourth white oak snake in as many nights that I've caught in the chicken coop. So they're really attracted to these chicks right now because I have so many chicks hatching and I have so many that are half grown. And um, yeah, I can't have this. I know people say, oh, well they eat rats. And yes they do, but there's a lot of other things that eat rats. And I don't need to sacrifice my chickens to a snake just for rat control. There, there's plenty of other animals that'll do it in other ways to control them. The snakes are the bigger threat, so they're getting removed. Any of them that's big enough to eat a chick, 
getting disposed of. But it's only these out here. These are the only snakes that give me trouble. The the um, water snakes, the banded water snakes, and other non-venomous snakes don't seem to bother the chickens. It's just these big rat snakes. There was a reason they used to be called chicken snakes, people, by old timers. All right, so this is now the fifth rat snake in about as many days, maybe six days out. Look, he's got a pretty good sized chick there. Look at him. That's actually kind of fascinating. Not really in a rush right now because the chick's already gone. At least I think it is, let's see. Yeah, the chick's actually cool to the touch. Look at that, he's gonna swallow that whole chick. I'm not gonna let him, I'm gonna kill him here in a couple minutes, but, but he can do it. One of these chicks here, I'm sure. So every time I think I have filmed an end to this snake video, I uh, catch another rat snake in that. It's all the same. It's all these white oak snakes, which to my understanding are a subspecies of gray rat snake. No other snakes bother my chickens. It's just these. Surely this must be the chicken snake of old. This one's not a very big one, but look, just as reference here, this might be very useful to see. That is how wide the snake's head is. This is not a big one. He was going to eat this, this chick. He was absolutely going to be successful in eating this chick. So that just goes to show how big of a target a snake can take. You know, and big rat snakes will kill adult chickens. People say, well, people who have an experience, oh, they won't do that. Yeah, they will, because I've seen it happen. Actually, I've seen it happen with a guinea fowl of mine. Now, I don't think the snake was able to eat that bird, the, the guinea fowl, when I found it. But he tried. But this is why they try, because a lot of times they can eat it. See, he could eat. And he was he was in the process of getting his, his mouth around the shoulders. I think he had his mouth around the shoulders of this one. He was going to do it. He was going to be successful had I not interfered. But he won't be successful anymore. Ha <laughs> ha. So anyhow. This has been Bullfrog. Thank you for watching this episode of the Snake Wars on Bullfrog's Happy Farm. Bye.